What's up, YouTube? Right, the Grand National is approaching. A lot of tipsters are going to be telling you back this, back that. They'll, be, they'll have a tip at every race. But uh, I'm just coming with one for you. Um, the Grand National, Vanillier. I have tipped them up eight months ago. Been talking about them on multiple live streams. And the most important thing is we have been backing them all year. Now look, he has gone in in price a lot. We first started backing him when he was 25 to 1. He's now into 10 to 1 best price. But I do want to make one thing crystal clear to everybody. You know, I gave Lark in the morning as the handicap banker at Cheltenham. He bolted in. I gave the real whacker the year before. And I'm telling you that Fenillier is the best handicapped horse in the Grand National this year. For sure. He will need luck and running as he does be slow to warm but if, if Vanillier can sit anywhere from halfway three quarters of the way back um, as long excuse me as long as he's in he's fine rhythm and just you know clearing fences uninterrupted he doesn't have to start creeping at all till after kind of beat your second time start getting a small little bit closer and hopefully be arriving anywhere within 10 lengths of them turning in uh, I do think if he gets the clean run and doesn't get wiped out by any uh, you know loose horse or faller which can happen you know we all have to understand this is a grand national we could fall at the first but uh, this is my opinion with you know the scenario that we don't get wiped out and we do get a fair shot at the race so if we get the fair shot at the race he will win the race I promise you that uh, and I'll tell you two reasons why he got there last year he travelled round lovely jumped on stayed on and everybody says the jockey left it too late and he, you know he could have won well uh, the way he's been trained this year uh, the handicapper has actually not got a chance to do anything bar let him in very very light and uh, you know he really this horse will lads pr I promise you with a clean run and look and running this horse will take some serious stopping in the last couple of furlongs he's it's just such a powerhouse of a stayer and uh, yeah with the weight that he's been given he's just waited to win sometimes in a handicap uh, you know you can start going through every other horse start giving them chances and you know more luck to them I couldn't give a fuck at them personally I just hope they don't fall in front of Fenelier, um, you know and, and wipe him out of the race because uh, I know with a clean round and uh, no interruptions that Fenelier not only will win the national he win it by 10 lengths so um, yeah that's the way it goes I know people say oh, how can you say that it's a lottery it's a grand national it's not a lottery if your horse gets a fair shot shot at it uh, if he gets badly bumped and badly bucked well then obviously he can't win if he gets knocked over I understand that but I'm telling you if he does get his fair shot at the race and he does navigate a safe trip he will outstay them all off the weight he's after being given that I'm telling you, uh, and I've uh, you know, I just that's my genuine opinion. Last year, he closed them um, Cork Ramder all the way to the line. But what people don't realize, and I never spoke about this all year till I got all my money on the horse. This horse had massive excuses last year, no one seen it. Now, the judge in the game seen it, they're all sleeping. When this horse was approaching the canal turn last year, a loose horse, this horse was on the tail of the likes of Lamillios or Lamilios and other horses in front of him, and a loose horse just subtly came in between the two of them. And um, you know, no one seen nothing, but yet Fenillier lost six lengths on the approach to the canal turn that nobody seen not one judge seen only the madman of course and uh, yeah the madman's using it to my advantage got all my money on the 25s and uh, like I said look me and all the followers everyone in the Patreon service everyone that follows the live streams we literally have been backing this horse for the last 8 months so first 4 finish uh, would be brilliant with a clean round that's a guarantee if Fenillier gets a clean round the first 4 is a guarantee if he gets uninterrupted run anywhere jumps good he'll win I've no doubt in my mind he'll win the national it's not even it's not even close and um yeah that's genuine how I feel I just genuinely feel if he gets a clean run of it uh, he'll run away with it alright and uh, if he falls at the first I'll be the first one to come on the, the camera and uh, talk about that too but uh, like I said that is something that I am aware of and have prepared myself for and all my followers for that we could be wiped out with the first fence but we're okay with that we've all our money on at 25s 20s 16s 12s 14s all prices still backing them at 10s that's why I'm making this video he is now best price 10 to 1 and I am very very happy to back him between now and Saturday fuck all everything else no tips tomorrow no tips today after really good winner yesterday again free to dream you were all told about 
about him. I hope you backed him. Tipped up as a four points win bet. You know, I know all these tipsters are tipping up ten a day and five a day. I think I've had about ten chips uh, since Cheltenham. I don't even know how many I've had. Very little. Uh, no tips tomorrow. No bullshit tomorrow. No bullshit Tuesday. One fifteen point winner on Wednesday that will win. That's the only tip I have be between now and entry. Then it's just lump, lump familiar. Just lump familiar. Fuck the rest of entry. Stick it up in their backside. Uh, couldn't give a fuck about one horse in a handicap on my play that's potentially very well handicapped up in trip and apart from him they can stick it into where the sun don't shine because I'm just going to clean the fucking lot of them uh, if Vanilla gets a, you know, a clean a good run at this and um, we can get a first four finish would be a, a great profit and if he wins it uh, you know it's the absolute dream and uh, yeah the showstopper the game over you know the cotton's over alright good luck